OK, the animal world cuteness factor is in high gear right now. Let's be honest. Yeah, baby bunnies, oh, raccoons, so deer and birds. They're everywhere. <laughs> so what do you do if you encounter one of these little critters and you think it might be in trouble? Yeah, new this morning, John Shumway is Mr. Animal <laughs> Kingdom. He's joining us to explain. So, John, what can we do or is the best thing not to do anything? Oh, aren't they cute? So cute. I mean, oh, yeah. It really is cute. The baby rabbits recently emerged. I've been watching them play in the backyard. They live underneath my patio. But I know the neighborhood hawk is watching, too. And like almost everything else involving baby animals, what happens really is out of our control. The fawns with their spots are out there now, and sometimes you'll find one alone and calling for its mom. And they can be very vocal, but the last thing you want to do is, is touch it and definitely don't feed it, try to give it water. They don't need any of that. Retired Game Commission Conservation Officer Gary Fujak says does will often lead their young to forage for food, but they know where they are and they will return. He says the same is true for baby birds that find themselves on the ground. Just keep your distance and let the parents come and feed it and eventually it'll it'll hop on a low lying branch in a tree and, and it'll be okay. Fujak says especially steer clear of baby raccoons or kits no matter the temptation. And they're cuddly and you want to hold them and uh, they can look perfectly healthy and still be infected with rabies. While baby bunnies are less of a threat, Fujak says they fall into the same category as the others. When it comes to wildlife, you never want to touch it. You don't want to feed wildlife. Keep your distance. Uh, there's, it's, it's, it's not a good thing for humans or wildlife, and they'll be fine without us. And Gary tells me when you do intervene, you pick up one of the little ones, you take it home to nurse it to good health, you have just created an orphan, and it rarely works out well for the wildlife. Oh. Sorry. I mean, yeah, that's, but you know what? It's important to, so you're just supposed to just walk away. Basically, yeah, the parents will take <laughs> care of it or Mother Nature will take its course. But Fujak says people rarely create a positive outcome for the animals. I'll give you one exception, though. If you see a fawn that looks like it's going to walk out into traffic, he says it's okay to pick up a little fawn and get it back into the woods. The mother wow. will come back to it. Okay. And wow. your scent won't impact that at no. all? Okay. No, he says that's one thing that you actually could do. Good to know. Okay, very interesting. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like we've learned a lot. Yes, we have. Always do.